we're going to sing about Aleph-Bet. So Aleph-Bet is like the ABC except in Hebrew, and we sing it in a special way. And we're going to sing this a song called Ami. Ami is just means I want to be myself. I learn at B'nai Shalom. Since I came here when I was in fourth grade, the technology has developed so much and it allows us to learn on a whole new level because we have our smart boards and we have the iPads and the teachers use the technology in different ways to adapt to their classes. For example, in humanities, we use our iPads to look up articles or look at current events. In science, we use our iPads to look at PowerPoints and answer questions through them. In math, we use our iPads to watch lessons that our teacher makes us the night before. I made my own roller coaster. And so I, my investigative question is, how much high is needed for the initial drop in order for the marble to run through the, a loop of a fixed size? Well, I took cabbage juice and I put different household items in there. I learned that um, acidic liquids will make it turn red, but I took three dogs and I, for each dog I did paw 20 times for them, and I t totaled up how many times like they did right paw and how many times they did left paw. Today, the second and third grade have prepared a wax museum. The third graders will be the presidents, and the second graders are famous people in our history. So please enjoy yourself learning about these different famous people in our wonderful Wax Museum. You can step in front of anybody you would like and they will tell you about themselves. So step on in. When I first entered, a lot of people would yell at me from the crowds and other people from the and people from the other dugout. But everyone on my team went against them. They thought what I was was right. I lead at Benet Shalom through sports. At Benet Shalom, sportsmanship is really important, along with equality with your teammates and equality with the other teams and knowing that it's still a game but still being competitive. And something that really made me proud was when we won soccer because it went into penalty shootouts. And after over 10 penalty kicks, I had to go in and shoot, which was not normal for the goalie. <laughs> and I scored and then I managed to make the game winning save. Binet, even though I'm not fantastic at sports, it still set me up for all these experiences and all these things that I wouldn't have been able to get at any other school. Well, my name is Jeremiah. I've been here to preschool and this is the best class ever. Um, I used to like building stuff like um, that, like uh, with the blocks over there. And this is my friend Leo. What do you like about um, preschool? Leo said he loves um, and the rubber band boards. Hi, I'm in space with the kindergarten and first grade, and they're celebrating the, first, the 100th day of school. Um, Emma, what, what are you doing for the 100th day of school? We're gonna find 100 Hershey Kisses. Wow. Um, Elijah, are you excited for the 100th day of school? Of course we are. We're the kindergarten. I'm in first grade, and we're in space. Join us! B'nai Shalom has definitely enhanced my Jewish life. I really find meaning in, in all the Jewish things I do now and, and, and how they connect to the rest of my life. When I came to B'nai Shalom, when I first stepped in, 
um, the doors, I felt so welcome, like another home. It was, it was another home, and it is another home for me. So there were times at the beginning of the year where um, I wasn't feeling so great, and being in the safe environment, I was pushed back on the top. So I don't just connect with the teachers on a school level. It's something more than that. That, that is something that I really value and cherish. God of Abraham, please help me find the perfect girl for Yitzhak. If she gives water to my animals and I, she will be the one. Soon he reached a well where some girls were giving water to their animals. Oh, hello, young lady. I'm very thirsty. Can I please have some water to drink? Yes, but please let me give water to your animals first. Okay. Over a million and a half children were killed in the Holocaust, together with their hopes and dreams. They were separated from their family. They were left with no friends. They had no identity. They became the enemy.